Good afternoon everybody, Andy here from The Train Guys with a new video for you from a new route. Welcome to Millbrae, terminus for the Bay Area Rapid Transit and close to San Francisco International Airport. We're off to San Jose, yes we are in America on a brand new route that uh, Ryan and I have got. And this is a new route for us. I have practiced on this loco. But this is the first time I've recorded a video using it. So, while I unlock the doors, we will set this locomotive up by turning on some lights. By putting the valve on the brake and make sure that's in. We'll make sure the reverse is in forward. We'll put some headlights on on the front. And we've set ourselves up ready to go. So as I say, this is a new route for myself and Ryan, running from San Francisco to San Jose. Quite a different type of passenger route. Normally you've got the one cab. Um, this one has a cab here, we're in the locomotive end. At the other end of the train, there's also a cab built into one of the carriages so that you can do a reverse mode and that the train, the loco is pushing you rather than pulling you. And I know that uh, a couple of the videos on this, on the scenario, show that. We'll talk about more about that as we go. We are going to lock the doors on the right hand side. And we are going to get moving. Brakes off. Apply a little bit of power. Here we go. We are underway. <clears throat> so San Mateo is our next stop at 6.11, which is 4.1 miles away. So we have got to get a bit of a shift on. We, I have noticed, practicing on this route on some of the timetables, that the timetables are quite tight. So they expect you to get on with it fairly quickly. Hence why we've got a 75 mile an hour speed limit already. So we are going to have to get some throttle on and get up to that speed. So, new route, lots of new scenery, freight on this as well. There is a freight locomotive you can drive and a couple of freight scenarios. There aren't that many scenarios, but an awful lot of the timetable you can run. So over time we'll work through those timetable options as well. It's a really interesting route. It's quite different. Um, scenery is probably a little bit more dynamic in that you've got a lot more going on around you. Like the cars you can see to the right now. Um, it's just a far more dynamic set of scenery in some ways. Some of um, the scenery on the other roads is quite static but this isn't. So, it's an interesting route. I hope you enjoy it. We've purchased two or three new routes to uh, get going on. I know Ryan's uh, done a video from one. Transpennine. This is another one we've got. We've got a couple of German ones as well. And uh, the New York Transit which neither of us have done anything on yet, not practiced or anything, so that'll be something to uh, try over the coming weeks. <clears throat> I hope you're all okay out there. Um, strange times in the world. I'm still working uh, as part of the NHS, but it is strange. It is a different type of uh, world for all of us at the moment, so I hope you're all okay out there that watch our videos. I hope we're bringing you a little light entertainment in uh, some quite strange times for all of us. So we've accelerated up to, where are we, can up to 60. Blow the horn for the crossing. I'm trying to get used to that more, I'm trying to make it more like they do in America, where they blow their horns before they cross tracks, um, go through railroad crossing. So I'm trying to get a little bit more used to that. 
gaining experience from driving under the speed limit, which is always good. So I'm just going to have to watch it now. 2.2 miles out. Now these have got quite different brakes on this train now. Both Ryan and Ryan said it's taken a little bit of getting used to. Because they... Well, you'll see when I do it. If you just put the brakes on, you have a, an awful sudden stop. You have to really watch how you control the brakes. So this is going to be interesting. Haven't done it on a video yet. So 1.6 miles out. I'll shut the throttle up. Oops. Hit the microphone there. Do apologise, folks. Just going to start bringing these brakes to a point where I'm ready to apply them. Oh, I need some loads of level crossings. Yeah. <coughs> Crossing on the brake from the horn of this right. So, there's service, and then you drop it into lap. Release the brakes again. How far am I? Six tenths of a mile. Right, let's try that. This is going to take some getting used to. So I've done quite a few runs, but it is, as I say, very, very different to normal braking. More on. Yeah. So we've made quite a lot of surf. See how quick it comes down then. That's probably a little bit harder on the brakes than I want it to be. But we have made it. <coughs> so, bring that back into holding. We're loading passengers. We've made our first stop, there we are. Oh, one off the back. No, not too bad. Just getting used to these brakes. Which we will do. And uh, quite a smart looking train this actually. Now this is one weird thing with the sound. When I come outside and come back in, can't seem to find to make it quiet again with the engine, so you can hear the engine a lot more now. Let's go. 
вот это бля. I'll take that properly on the platform and somehow I've got the sound to go back oh well well there you go sound idiosyncrasies aside not bad at all nicely on the platform so bring that bait down to holding so that you get your reservoirs back up so then it's about to say we're loaded lock the doors off throttle on or you can start to throttle on 620 is our next stop 2.9 miles away so we are going to run late Let's see if we can make up a little bit of time moving well let's open that throttle right up Stay on the outside view for a minute because we can do that. I'm just going to turn, and as this comes past, you'll see the back. There it is. That's your cab right there on the back of the train. So when you're controlling it from the other end, you're actually sat in the carriage. There you are, look. Just like that. Weird as it looks, that is where you control the train from 
when you're going the other way. So there you go. So in some of the later videos, or the other videos we'll do, we will be looking at the world from that end of the train. So this loco is pushing you rather than pulling you, which is what we're doing now. <coughs> so there you go. Quite an interesting way of driving a train. We do it in this country as well, but not quite like this. Not built into just look like the end of the carriage coming towards you. There's a few trains just trying that, but at least they had a rounded off end on the carriage. This is just like I presume it's a couple more carriages to it, and just whether you want to use that particular cab or not. So we are one point is that one mile or one point more one point eight miles. So 1.7 miles to go and we are really getting some speed up this time. So it's an early morning commute, it's late. Oops, our bad. But hey, it could have been worse. So I bring those brakes into the standby place. 1.2 miles out, close the throttle. Now let's see how we get on this time. Point A. Bit of break, down to lap. Start bringing some speed off. this you know this might be right a little bit more break breaks off for a second Can I make it? There we go. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Got the whole train on the platform again. Probably going to run a little bit late. Doing okay. Now, yellow signal at 686 yards. I'm not sure how far away we are from our last stop. So we'll wait and see. I'm not going to call up all the manifests because it just gets in the way of the video. Can you see how much more dynamic this scenery is though? Many more cars moving makes it far more real than perhaps some of the other scenarios and some of the other tracks and routes. Looks a bit more like an early morning commute. World's waking up, cars are on the move. Right. Lock the doors. Let's get ready to go. There we go. Redwood City at 6.25, 2.2 miles away. We are moving. We're getting our speed up. Let's go watch these signals. Just to be on the safe side, right? Go hard acceleration for a minute. Looking 
good. Put the sound on again. So, I don't know why it does that every sort of thing. All the sound from the outside and the inside of the camera going out. So, track speed is not the the signals are. Flashing the other. What's the next one? Doesn't tell us. That's out of fault. Now we'll get some more trouble. Obviously, it's been sitting for a while, so. Probably need to be a little bit over cautious. Haven't driven the entire route yet, so I don't know how all the signals are lying. Test our climate is the best. Well, there you go. Well done, the women enjoy the summer weather while well, land the passion for the book. I would indeed. There you go. Well, now, I don't think the braking was brilliant. Just. I've just got the back one on the platform. Well, there we go. So, a little bit late, but some really good XP gained on Peninsula Corridor, on Dave, and on this particular loco. Time taken 24 to 25, 11 miles covered. I did some walking apparently. I can't remember doing that. Oh, you earned a gold medal. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Well, there you are, folks. Another video done. First one on this particular route for me. Hope you enjoyed it. We will be doing some more. Californian Commuter was this one. We will be doing some more videos on this route. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you're all well. Give us a like if uh, you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. And we will catch you around the train soon. <laughs>